let's look at an interesting problem here. So we were asked to draw a function that, that satisfies these following conditions. So since we're asked to draw a function, the first thing I want to do is just set up my axes because I, I know I need to uh, draw something on them. And then we say f, we have f of c equals m. So let's just pick a point to be c. Let's call this c. And then we know the height at c for the function is m. So let's pick a point up here. Doesn't matter where it is, right? We, it doesn't matter what height or anything we choose as long as we satisfy these conditions. So there's our point, and we know that that has a height of m because when we plug in c to our function, we're getting m out. Okay, now let's look at, at the other conditions. The limit as x approaches c from the right side is equal to n. That means that as we approach c from the right side, where the function itself is approaching some number n. So I'm just going to choose n to be here. You can choose m and n to be anything you want. Okay, and we said that the limit from the right side approaches n. So oop, I guess I should be a little bit more careful. So that looks to be about at the height of n. And we know that, that we can't have a point here. How do we know that that can't be filled in? Well, because then this function wouldn't pass the vertical line test. right? We'd have two points at, at c. So that has to be a hole there. And then finally, we're told that the limit as x approaches c from numbers less than c is equal to m. So that means wherever this function starts, we don't know, but we're just choosing it to be like this. And as we approach c, the limit approaches m. So we know that this function is, is approaching m in this manner. And that's it. We, we're done. We've drawn a function that satisfies these three conditions. So this is, it's not too hard. It might seem daunting at first because there are, all we have are, are letters and we, we don't have any real numbers to look at or work with. But just remember that the limit, when, when we have a limit as x approaches c, the, 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 the number re references a height. These are all heights, the limits, and of course when you, uh, the f of x values are also heights. So m and m are just heights. c is an x value. And we just see what happens when we plug C into the function and when we take it the limit. Okay, see you in the next video.